At the national conference this year, I'm particularly struck uh, struck by the number of young people that are attending. You know, gray hair is becoming fairly common in our industry, and we need to do everything we can to entice young people to number one, become engineers and get their masters in business and the like, because that's what this industry requires, is those levels of skill. And also, it's a great industry to work in. I look for a downside in this industry, and I really can't find one. Renewable energy and energy efficiency, it's a noble profession. And we need to help young people make the decision you know, that I made 30 years ago that this was the industry I wanted to be in. The reason why I'm at the AES, AESP conference right now is because I have been to two other ones before, and as a result of their conferences, I was able to get an internship with Energy Trust of Oregon my, uh, the summer after my freshman year and also after my sophomore year of college. And then the next time I went to the AESP conference, I got an internship with GDS Associates. And so as I look to graduating in May, I'm starting to think about what I want to do. And I want to, I've decided I want to go into the energy industry because I really feel passionately about it. And so I'm hoping to make some connections with some consulting companies while I'm here. AESP and the National Conference has done a great job through our foundation, through our large, me our large members bringing a lot of their young employees to this. Uh, we had a, a new membership um, meeting a couple of days ago and over a hundred people had never been to an AESP conference before and at least half of them or more probably I would guess were under 25 years old. That's how we are going to ensure the success of both AESP and this industry is by bringing those people into this business.